the bottle with water. Then apply food coloring to the water so you know when it is rising up the straw. Then shake up the water so the food coloring mixes in. Notice I have goggles on and an apron and my hair is tied back. Our purpose is you build your own thermometer out of simple material. Our materials are a bowl of hot water, ice water, a water of unknown temperature, tap water, 500 milliliter beaker, right there, clear glass juice or soda bottle, clear plastic straw. Food coloring is in the water. A plastic dropper. Cooking oil. <laughs> Modeling clay. A metric ruler. And lastly, a fine point marker. Hypothesis. If it is put in hot water, it will rise. And if it is put in cold water, it will go down. Step two, place straw in bottle. Then fill a glass bottle with colored water. Oh gosh. <gasps> Make sure to stop. Place straw in bottle. Use modeling clay to position the straw so it extends at least 10 centimeters above the bottle mouth. That is 10 centimeters. Put the colored water using a dropper into the straw to a level 5 centimeters above the bottle. Make sure no air is in the bottle. Place the thermometer in cold water. Then make mark where the water drops. Add one drop of oil above the water. <laughs> Pour hot water into your thermometer. Thing. Watch it rise before your own eyes. It rose three centimeters in the hot water. Place water into room temperature water. Don't put too much water in the beaker, otherwise it will overflow. And we need some towels. Place your thermometer into a bowl of regular water. So make, make a mark where the water stops. Data and observations. In hot water, it slowly grows up in the straw. No. In the room temperature water, the water went down and went not a whole lot. Slowly. In the ice cold water, it went down the straw quickly. Percent of error. There's too much water in the beaker so it overflowed, and the clay wasn't sealed on tight enough so it leaked. You know, because this is the wrong way to do it. It's not doing it. Place the thermometer in cold water. Then make mark where the water rises to, or drops. <laughs> I can't do this under pressure. Put it in cold water and make a mark where it rises to. <laughs>